This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case Well, I gotta close the floor to one. <laughs> put some Florida water on my hands so I can pray over the cards. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in ring zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. You are about to get a message from your ancestor reading. So, thank you for listening to me. It was a pleasure. <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm going to give you a uh, 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 ancestor reading. Mm -hmm. oh, don't mind me, y'all. I'm not tired. Just spirit. So I'm going to give you an ancestor reading. The way it works, I'm going to deal five cards. The first four cards are reserved for female ancestors. They come through. They're going to say what they need to say. The fifth card is reserved for male ancestor. Now, either gender energy can go through either card, but typically that's how I work it. Uh, okay. I ask that you try to look into the message they're saying versus trying to figure out the ancestor because you may get an ancestor from a thousand years ago, a million years ago, or you may get one from yesterday, you know? Oh, I already know. You know, I've been, I've been watching, but I would still like to know like what year is possible, but I won't yeah. put the focus on it. I totally get what you mean. All right. So, with that being said, <clears throat> say your first name so I can pray with a card. Hi, this call is being recorded. Please wait a second. Thank you. Hi, this call is being recorded. Please wait a second. Thank you. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. That thing, that that voice recording going to pop up periodically? I, I this is my first time using it, so I'm I'm sure. But oh. I'm thinking yes, since we've been doing this like four times, we be on the phone. So I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. You good? You good? I worked through it. It just threw spirit off when I was praying. I had to calibrate. That's all. Because he, because, yeah. It, do, you want, do, do you want to cut mine off and you just send me your recording? Mm -mm, go ahead and record. It's all good. You need yours immediately. Okay. It'll take Thank me about you. three weeks. All right. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see what y'all got to say. One, ooh, two, mm, three. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that a good wow? That's a good wow. All these cards are pretty good, so I'm just going to say it like that. You'll see. So we're going to go up here to your first ancestor. Mm. <sighs> this ancestor is being represented by the seven of fire and this ancestor here uh, she was married to a Scorpio man this is 1873 it's in the 1870s to the 1890s but up in that time she was married for about 20 years she literally, she said she literally wore diapers, not because she was sick. It's just because she was kind of like forced to, forced to do it. Like, she's saying captivity. Oh, okay. Like, the guy wouldn't let her go to the bathroom. The guy wouldn't let her do this. It's, she keeps referring to a diaper she had to wear during the time of her marriage. Uh, and I guess oh, you wow. kind of say this guy abused her, but this is in the 1800s, uh, late 1800s, turn of the century, 19. Uh, she's she she's symbolized by her message to you is the seven of fire, which is uh, it's like fighting somebody who's verbally abusive. Mm -hmm. Now she says you don't have to take it. And she's saying you don't have to take it 
the not going places, being afraid to, to make your own moves. You don't have to take it because her message to you is health and healing. She said that the, the more you get out and do small things on your own, such as literally going to the damn movies by yourself, that's one thing. She say, do it. It's making you stronger. You literally turning off the phone one day and driving around getting lost. She says, do it. Don't let nobody put you in diapers and tell you when to shit and piss. What, are, what is she talking about with this one? I don't know um, because I, I'll go to the movies by myself with no problem. I'll go get a drink by myself with no problem. So then, so she's mentioning these things as if this is a form of freedom. So what got you stagnant? What got you stagnant right now where you feel like if you do this, somebody or someone or something is going to fold, fall, or bit you out? Um, I'm not worried about a person per se. Um, I've been working on a lot of business stuff because I'm trying to fire my boss like you have. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I said that online. <laughs> right. Every time I'm like, I'm trying to buy a house, I'm trying to do a lot of stuff, and every time that I'm studying or researching stuff and I'm working on it, I come to a roadblock. I mean, I got, I mean, I got to stop and move to the next thing, and there's a roadblock there, so I'm like, okay, let me go over here and try this. So now, I'm this, like, everything is this robot. This this thing that's blocking you is a is a physical entity. It's a person. It got a voice. It's a they say it got a voice, it got a heartbeat, it has an opinion. Ooh. This thing is serious. Okay, so who is the naysayer? We'll just take it, take relationship out of it. Who is the naysayer? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's plenty of naysayers. Um, I can't even call it. Spirit, like, give me. There, it's, it's plenty of naysayers. Give me, give me something. Not, give I'm me something. Really want, I'm not really one to hear the naysayers. Okay. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something. Give me something a little close because subconsciously she you probably subconsciously you letting this affect you. All right, they I'm finna hit it home. She said this person has like a muscle muscular body, muscle tone, great legs, great calf, they athletic. I don't know who this is, baby. Okay. Um, I All right, so like I'm trying to focus on the person, but you but you saying you're pretty independent. I'm pretty independent. I don't know who that would be. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not dating anyone right now or anything like that. Um, I don't know who, who it would be. It's not my, my son. He's 17, but he's not really a naysayer. You know, he's not my cheerleader, basically. So, I'm not sure. Do you have a personal trainer? I do not. <laughs> don't get that over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who she's saying because she got health and healing, meaning like by you doing what I, you. I, I, it would be. I mean, I don't. I don't really deal with my father like that unless I have to pain him. So I. I really don't know who it could be. Hmm. Well, 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 ask her a question because I know what she's saying. Maybe this is a future issue, but she's saying this person is. She was saying right now this somebody. So just a message. Somebody held her in captivity made her not want to do nothing to the point where they controlled every aspect of her life. She couldn't do nothing and she's saying this is a time for health and healing as long as you continue to go, I guess, go where you need to go, do what you need to do without saying, okay, I wonder if X, Y, and Z going to get upset. This is what she's stressing. So if it ain't pertaining to you now, I'm going to look for it in the future. I want you to look for it in the future. Maybe you get that person that says, I don't want you talking to this person to build your business or well, he, I, would have to, he, would have, he would have to go. You know, I'm not, that ain't my personality. He'll have to go. Yeah, well, I guess she's saying stay that way, but what question do you want to ask her? Because she was very clear on her message. I thought she was saying right now, maybe she was just talking about future tests, but she's very clear on this message and she ain't changing nothing. But this person's going to be uh -huh. very athletic, nice legs, nice legs. That's what you keep saying. Nice calf muscles. Nice legs. Okay. Um... Since she's stagnant, upset in the situation with me, what can I do to open the roadblock? What can what can she do to open the roadblock so it don't happen? How about that, Spirit? She says, balance, I told you. I, I hope you see it. The card she gave you was balance, career, and home life. Balance, career, home. Okay. This is a serious message. So she's basically saying, so let's say if it's not a person, 
But she just saying it's, it's, it's something that's going to try to stagger you if they're not staggering you now, okay? Okay. Because your message is balanced career and home life. So don't you ain't no house body. No, I'm not. <laughs> so that's, that's our message. Okay. All right, let's go to the next one. Go ahead, Spirit. Go ahead, Spirit. What you talking about? Oh. Mm. What's going on? Say what now? What's going on? The she, noise you making. What's going oh, on? Oh, I'm sorry. She, I, I, I'm smelling food or smelling bakery. <laughs> I'm smelling food. She, she's, she's a cook. She's a baker. She's a cook. Okay. She's a baker. What error? What error? Because this is a different type of bread. I'm smelling, lady. What? What error? Uh, sister she got that that color purple error she's saying I don't know what that I don't know what era that movie was shot in I, I don't know if it's 18 or 19 I think it was 19 it was 19 something um could it be a great grandmama maybe let me ask her uh great grandmama what do you what do you represent is you a great grandma it's a nice floppy she just keeps saying, sister, I'm keeping my eye on you. She keeps using the word sister, I'm keeping my eye on you. Sister, okay. I'm keeping my eye on you. All right. So, sister. <laughs> uh, sister. Oh. Oh. Where's your mother? She's at work. No, not really where she at. All right. So if mother here, do you, did you have an auntie that that's deceased right about now? Um, my aunt Trudy, she died last year. All right. Okay. It was my 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 mom my mom's um aunt, so she's my great aunt. Okay. This is the error because she keeps saying, "Sister, I'm keeping my eyes on you," meaning that she's watching you as if she's watching your mother. So she's like. She's saying she she's saying she almost got it confused as if she was supposed to come back and watch her mother, but she's watching you because she keeps saying, "Sister, I'm keeping my eyes." You know what? That could, that, you know, that, that could be my mom's um, cousin Dot too. She passed away maybe like two, three years ago too, and she used to always um, confuse me and my mom. Okay, then that probably it. I just know. Let me let me ask it. I'm gonna pull a separate card. Are you Dot? Are you dot? Find the blessing in your current situation. Musical. Did dot play musical instruments? I don't know. Well, she's saying find the blessing in your current situation. But finding the blessing in your current situation right here is she just one hundred percent going at like she 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 keep confusing you for your mother. I can tell you that now. Great grandma Flossie, it could be Trudy or it could be Dot. Well, she well she was. When I go to my, I go to her hometown. I get to bake my mom's Well, she baked. She was a baker. She she baked bread. She either had a business baking bread or she baked. Uh -huh. It was strange bread, uh, yakky bread, some kind of sticky bread. But uh, now her met her her. She's been represented by the eight of air, uh, meaning that you're in a cage. She keeps saying that she she keeps saying that you're still in a cage mentally, that you're put you're placing yourself in this cage mentally. Mm. Now, from what you said in your first house, you just free as a bird. You can do what you want to do, yada yada yada. But this second ancestor is saying she got to keep her eye on you because you're like imposing these self these self stagnations on yourself. Mm. And she said you need to find the blessing in your current situation. She baked bread. She played a musical instrument. Now her thing is, her car is priority. It is a priority that you smarten up. She said you need to have the wisdom of Solomon as you go through your everyday life. You got to get smart about something real quick. Or else you're going to fall or else you're going to put yourself in a box big time. Okay. But I know she keeps saying she keep she thought she was watching her sister, but now it's you. 
So she she is confusing you with your mom. I can tell you that now. Because she keeps saying, sister, I'm keeping my eyes on you. Does she seem older or younger? Uh, no, 45, 46. 45, 46, 6 foot 2, or I'm going to say around by 5'10". I'm, I'm exaggerating. 5'10". Yeah, 5'10", healthy woman. Bright, not dark. Bright? Yeah, bright, not red bone bright. Just you know, peanut butterish. And that uh, might be. But now let me ask you this: Can can your friends come through as ancestors as well? Can your who? Can your friends, like your best friend, can they come through as ancestors? Oh yeah, all of them, all of them, all of them. That, 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 that may be my best friend, Dana. Dana can bake. That's she didn't, she didn't, she didn't date though, um, but just for the sister thing, but she, she told me not to be boxing, she would tell me all the time, have more fun, you know, it's like, this oh. sounds more like Dana. Well, I ain't gonna call out Dana, I just know, cause she ain't giving her name, she told, she gave me her description, she told me she confusing you with the, like, she, she thought she was coming back to protect her mother, your mother, which was her sister, but then she said, this is 100% you, because she keep referring to oh. you as her sister. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, uh, her message, again, is you're imposing st 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 stigmas on yourself that you need to come the hell up out of here. You cannot get boxed in. You are not designed to be boxed in. Okay. That's it. She said get the wisdom of Solomon, and it's a priority that you smarten the hell up. Okay. Read. She, matter of fact, she went a little further. There you go. She says she love her Bible. So you need to read Proverbs every day. You need to read a chapter of the Proverbs every day. It was written by Solomon, the wisest man. She keeps saying that she loved her Bible. Okay. There you go. That's a message. All right, man. That was different. Yeah, it was. She was singing Shug Avery song. <laughs> All right. Yes, no, it can't be your friends because she back in 18, I mean, back in the early 1900s. So, yeah, okay. this is this is somebody on your mama end. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, All right, so now we're going to go over to your third ancestor. Uh, your third ancestor is represent. ooh, your third ancestor is representative... All right, so this is a man. Mm -hmm. Who did you lose? Who? What? The, what? The, ugh, I hate asking these questions. All right, did you have a mate that passed off? No longer I'm here. Sorry, Daddy. Did you have a mate no longer here? Passed off, gone. Um, no, not that I know of. Hmm. Well, uh, this this is a man, a male ancestor. But he's talking about you getting with somebody and making moves together with with a mate. This is what he's saying. You need to make for you need to forgive about all this past relationship and start moving forward on that end. Cause he gave you the two of fire in the upright position. Uh -huh. He's saying you need to really consider getting with the mate and making moves with your mate. Now his message to you is there will be a positive change if you do so. Like, I felt like, but like I'm having the hardest time meeting meeting um men. <laughs> uh, from what these th these cars saying, you're boxing yourself in. Now I can I can say you're boxing yourself into something. Maybe you're boxing yourself into this life of celibacy, this life of non nonverbal communication with the opposite sex or, or the same sex or just you just they just saying you can't allow yourself to be stagnant boxed in and and you're putting stigmation stick nations on yourself and all this other crazy talk they doing but this is a male ancestor coming in say you will get a positive change if you make a move with a male partner so they see he, he's saying let that go and start focus on dating again and you'll get a positive change you got to make moves together with these businesses and everything that you're doing would you like to ask this 
Hmm? You said his ancestor is a is a mate that passed away. No, no, no. I was asking because he because I was asking did did you have a mate that passed away? Because he kept basically oh. telling me to tell you to get over your exes. Oh, got you. I do tend to hold on and stuff, but um, I let and I, and I let go of my own time. Um, okay. What ancestor? What where's where's he from? This ancestor. Come on, where you from, Pop? Hmm. All right. Let's get some Boston. He says Boston River. He keeps yakking about the Boston River, like northern water. It tastes really bad, too. Oh. He keeps saying he's from up what? north. He's from uh -huh. up. He's from up north. Like I gotta say, Boston, Maryland, Massachusetts. Some cobblestones. Great. Water. Oh. About the bay. Uh, how old are you? Give me, give me a sign. How old you is? You, you, you don't seem, you don't seem that old. Coat. His name is Cooper. Coop, Cooper. C O. Just Coop. I called him Coop because he said Coop, Cooper, Copperton. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he's uh. Oh shit! There you go. <laughs> he's a beat cop. Huh? He, he's a beat cop. He kept saying copper, copper, not Cooper, copper badge. So but he's oh, he, to be a police officer. right, and he used to walk the the beat by the Boston River. So he's in that. He's from Boston. So this is uh, we're gonna go like 1945. I'm gonna say. But he says you have to give give up that and you have to have, walk with no wonder he's talking about you have to walk with a person. Gotcha. You have to be aligned with a person and you get a positive change in your outcome and this is towards business and everything. Like you have to okay. get a mate. <laughs> Copper. I'm thinking he's talking about you. have to get a man? You got to. Uh, is he working on one for me? Or Let's is see. Just Cop, Copper. Are you working on one for he says, release tension. He's praying for you, yes. He's praying for you, release tension. But hold on. Here's the thing. He needs to be in law enforcement. Uh-uh. I don't do police. I don't do cops. I don't do uh-uh. I don't like police. And just like everybody say, you typecasting yourself into a box. Your ancestors come back and say, if you were in a paralegal, you were in the law, work, working against criminal, working against... <laughs> Well, man, I'm just a paralegal. I, I got a background and everything. Like, <laughs> listen, the man, your cop uncle, cop brother, whoever the hell he is, say you need to be paired up with somebody in law enforcement, and that's going to be a positive change for you. I, I, I think I would do what he say, even though you say that I don't do cops, but you're you're still working with legal and law. You never know who may not like what you say or do. Okay. They trying to protect you. I, I don't know. I thought his name was Cooper. I've been, to, I've been to say he played basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that old show hanging with Mr. Cooper? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mark Cooper. Yeah, I thought he was gonna say he played basketball. But uh, yeah, so he he's a cop. So he's saying you need to pair yourself up with a cop. Hmm. So he is working on one for you, and the birth that he gonna bring to you gonna be in some form of law enforcement. Okay, some form, so he could be doing something else. He could be a correctional okay. officer. Okay. He can be a he could be the actual state attorney. I don't know. Okay, that might that might work a little better than actually walking to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your fourth ancestor. Reveal okay. yourself. Oh, this is a this is an alcoholic woman. She say she say an alcoholic, uh, alcoholic woman. She say she don't care her words. She say I don't care. She had to come here. <laughs> I, I'm just saying she calm as shit. She just say she don't care. Uh, yeah, I can smell her alcohol. Lan takes the alcohol on her breath. I can smell it in her nose. She got she died of liver liver failure. She died in 1986. 1986, 87, the liver failure. You should know her. God, this is recent. Is that, is that she on my mom's side or my dad's side? Who's side you on? Let me smell you. Who's side you on? X or Y? She 
She said, who, who, who is bow-legged and pigeon-toed at the same time? Like the whole family have a trait with their legs. They either walk, got a smooth, I think it's your dad. Cause they got a, I think your dad, like the dad side, because like the, she was like, everybody was known for their cool pigeon-toed walk or their bow-leggedness or something like that. Oh yeah, I had to check my dad about his side. I don't know too, too, too much about um besides his brothers and sisters i don't know too many people outside of his brothers and sisters well they gotta now keep in mind she said to make sure you know you just ain't gonna have one auntie one uncle that's pigeon-toed and bow-legged this is a family okay. trait family trait like everybody has the same tonality walk twist of the ankle because she she says she had it this is a heavy drinking woman she came through now she gave oh. you zapana she says that oh she needs for you to not how you say not hold yourself back with the substance i don't know why she keeps saying there's a substance abuse situation going on with you i think i don't know i don't i'm not seeing liquor on you or crack or drugs or weed none of that there if i'm not mistaken the substance abuse has to be self-harm or self-doubt because she said this is this is just like drinking and she said, I got a little wine right here right now. That, um, a little wine ain't gonna get it. Um, and I'm not a smoker, but I do partake in funny honey. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, don't get too partaking in the funny honey. Because she's saying <laughs> this is just, is bad. But she died of liver cancer somewhere around by that time in the 86, 87s, or in that, in that range okay. there. Uh, but she says she wants to come in, how you say, grow you up spiritually. Okay. Come and make you stronger on that. Now, her message to you is artistic uh -huh. expression. So you're using this shit, her words, not mine. You're using this okay. shit to try to elevate. Oh. She say, ain't no need in that. Say, you got it all good. Don't don't go to no substance to elevate. Is elevating my lighting? Uh, she's saying don't go to no substance to elevate because she said artistic expression and she holding her heart. She say, she's saying, baby, you ain't got to elevate with putting a hand on her heart. Is she speaking about me writing? Uh, ask her. Is it, is it concerning her writing? Is it concerning her writing substance using? Uh, she says, come out the closet. What you mean, come out? Oh, it's not concerning your writing. It's concerning your all-around dress, your all-around demeanor, your bitchiness. Uh, like, you can't really... Like, the persona you carry around, you have to... You have to be done... Did, uh, did a, you have to be done... Uh, got high. I don't want to use the word getting high because you ain't no stoner. Uh, you'll have to be done partook of something to get your nerves. You got me? I don't. What are you saying? Because she keeps saying this is to come out of the closet. It's not about writing. This is about how you look. She is saying, baby, you don't got to get drunk, high, or smoke your shit to be who you need to be. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> she pleading with you. Okay, uh, let's, let's do it like this. Let's say that with this artistic expression, let's say that she was saying it got something to do with your writing, with you becoming a writer, uh -huh. with you becoming this. Maybe in order for you to draw that, that cartoon, I mean, or to create that character, you probably take a toe, a sip of wine, and now you feel you can write better. She's saying you don't need any substance to, to create, to, to be you. Okay. Now she's giving you a, she giving you a solid thing to where she come from. And you can find her quickly. And you may just find out that she was artistic too. Okay. And please harass your mom and daddy about this bow legged, pigeon toed kid folk of yours that, that drank to herself to death. Now, I, I, I want you to ask her another question because that was just trying to figure out who she was. And the only reason I did that because she was so close in death. So, would you like to ask her a question about whatever it is? Uh, I'm trying to think of what can I, what should I ask her? Um, I don't know. Um, well, it sounds like she's trying to 
God help me with the purpose. Um, I don't feel like I want to ask that question. I thought she already gave me the answer to it. About if I ask her, how do I serve my purpose? Am I serving my purpose? Ancestor, is she doing everything all right so far? Yep. She's saying teaching and offering. Teaching and offering. She said what you're teaching is going to, what you're offering is going to teach people. So people are going to learn from you, whatever you're doing. So you are on the right track. That's why she don't want you to have any kind of substance abuse because let's say you stop it. You won't have the same style. You won't have the same writing style. You won't have the same mannerism. You won't have the same nothing. It'll be a totally different person. So if you're going to go okay. at it, go authentic. But yeah, what you're teaching is gonna you offering it to the world is gonna be great. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna leave this one reserved for a male. Uh, timid. Well, somebody scared. Uh, this is a male. Uh, Throat cancer. Yeah, throat cancer. Throat cancer, baby. This is this is. Mm. <coughs> yeah, this is this is a lot of spitting, a lot of throat uh -huh. itching, throat cancer, cigarettes, <coughs> dry throat, itchy, scratchy. Yep. This one was shy. Yeah, I say it was a shy male. Uh, did not shy. Couldn't talk. Couldn't talk very much. So people like people. Overlooked and not shy. Sorry. Uh huh. This male was overlooked. Throat cancer. That shit just came up too. So you're not that old. Give me a date. Give me an error. Show me something. Seventy-four. He say seventy-four was his best year. Um. Seventy-four. Is he my granddad? Is he my great granddad, James? I don't, I, are you James? Are you James? Take charge or of the city. Huh? I said, or Big Daddy. I ain't gonna ask him that. <laughs> he said, when I asked him, was he James? He threw his hands up and say, take charge of the situation. But then he said, <laughs> he said, yeah, he said he took, he used to take charge of the situation. But he also said he was Jesus's brother. <laughs> You say he was Jesus' brother? Yeah. Interesting. So, um, like he was next to God. Right. So, Grant, I asked that because um, Grant, Granddad James is a preacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's why when you said when you said the stuff you said, that's why I asked what it does. Oh, my God. And that's why if, yeah. he, if he was a preacher, no wonder he said he was next to God. Jesus is brought God. Yeah, he was a preacher. And um, if I'm not mistaken, he passed away. He had cancer. Okay, so it was throat cancer. So here he's saying he would people didn't listen to him when oh okay there you go people overlooked him didn't listen to him throat cancer he couldn't talk gotcha now and I'm surprised you said that because his message to you is open your heart to love and on the card is Jesus Christ oh so open your heart to love in Jesus Christ so what are you basically saying is. You're gonna have to start listening to people. You ain't got. Huh? I'm gonna have to start doing what? Listening to people. Listening. Yeah, all this. So if so, if so, if spirit give you a message or somebody give you a message, don't go on your own thought process saying it can't happen. Really start listening to people, because he said you need to open your heart to love. So whoever's coming your way that's gonna make you better, I really, I'm gonna behoove you to really look into that. Damn, that was the coolest ancestor there, cause he told he said he, he said he was and then he said uh, take charge of the situation and he in his take charge of the situation card was Moses part in the Red Sea, and then he like Jesus Christ open your heart to love talking about he next to Jesus uh, he Jesus brother and he's a preacher so he can't die full force hardcore. Goodness. So yeah, his grandpa who's the what? But he's giving he you. My, my great granddaddy. Oh, great granddaddy. 
So throw ain't no throat cancer was a hundred years ago. Well, yeah, he died. He died right before, um, a little bit before I was born, like in the maybe nineteen eighty something like okay, that. Okay then, okay then. That's why I was saying this ain't old, man. This this, this disease yeah. is new. Yeah, he died a little before I was born. A little bit before I was born. All right. Well, he he's saying you got to start listening to somebody. Nobody listened to him. <laughs> nobody listened to him. Yeah. And he was a preacher, so I can see why he say nobody listened to him. Okay. Man, for him to say Jesus' brother uh, stood next to Jesus, hey, he serious for his shit. That boy. That's why they say Jesus' brother. I'm like, they got to be granddaddy. <laughs> well, he's saying yeah. you need to, you really need to start listening to other people's opinion. Don't listen to the naysayers that's telling you what you can't do. I mean, all the okay. good stuff coming your way, listen, and, listen to them and take example. Because what you're doing, the 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 Ken the Ken folk that was that drank herself to death. Uh -huh. She is basically saying like, you ain't got to use a substance. You ain't got to be. It's, it, if if you're writing, creating, try to do it sober. If you can try not to smoke, you know, wacky tobacco. For a little bit, try that and just see how you're writing but see, it. I, I don't even do it that often. Like, that's the thing. Let me tell I you. And I haven't wrote in a very long time, so I'm still trying to figure her out. I haven't wrote in a long time. Put it to the side and work on other business stuff to um, bring me some money. Stress is, so, stress is um, a motherfucker. You ain't wrote. You you was in the, the paralegal world. That has to do with a lot of writing. That verbiage is a motherfucker in I, court. You know what, you're, you're right. I wasn't even thinking about that. That verbiage is a mofo in court. The paralegal run the show. You know, you put the proper verbiage in there. The lawyer ain't got to do nothing but, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, I'm, did, 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 did. You know what, Barry? You're right, because I can't stand them folks. Like, I be, they be driving me to drink, drink when I come home. Okay, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm telling you, she she on point with that's me. That's what you talking about. I can't stand them folks. <laughs> Listen, I trust me. I ain't no paralegal. Like, I'm, I'm saying like my writing don't do that, but don't, but not that place do that to me. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you, but you gotta take somebody advice. Some advice is coming your way. Mm -hmm. Great, great granddad said you need to listen to the advice that's coming your way. Oh. And you gotta open your heart to love. So I think this this law enforcement style energy for person with this that that's in the law just like you, some form of fashion. I think he's saying you need to really listen to this person. So don't be so quick to dismiss him. Okay. I know you don't build your life up being single or whatnot. However that go, don't did he's saying you got to listen to somebody. You got to start taking somebody advice. Okay. And the second one saying you're trapped in a cage too, so you know how they're going. So you just harden yourself to the world. You gotta stop that. It ain't really hurting though. It's, it's COVID, so <laughs> it's not too many places to go. First of all, it's not about going. Meet somebody. It's not about going. You can text, type, date. I mean, you gotta interact with somebody. Maybe somebody just as afraid as you and thank you all that. Well, it's not like you go on the internet dating. Say what? I ain't going on no internet. It's, it's not like you tell me to go on the internet dating. I ain't telling you nothing. I'm just saying what the man said. Your ancestors say somebody coming your way that's into the law enforcement thing. You, that's your element. Law enforcement, law, legal, legalities. So you're in the right field. What you offering people. What you what you're teaching people, you know, it's gonna be an offer. People gonna receive it quite well. How you know you ain't gonna start your business of teaching people how to protect themselves legally? And this person may work for a nonprofit organization that help criminals get their shit together, and y'all are working on a team thing. I mean, you gotta you gotta weigh all your options here. Okay, I will see that. Um, and I was, I thought I was recording. Apparently it stopped recording, so yeah. Alright, I will make sure I send you, oh yes. This was a good, this was a long one. But I, but I make sure I send it to you. So, uh, I'm going to give you the rough cut too, just so you can get it quicker. Yeah, I was going to say, send it to me, uh, edit, please. 
Yeah, because if it's edited, it's going to take two or three weeks down the road. Do you want me to uh, edit a copy and put it on YouTube eventually? Um, you can if, it, if you feel like it helps other people. You can. Okay, definitely. So thank you for trusting the bear. If you have any more questions about any of these right here, uh, send it through an email and I'll be glad to get back with you because they keep telling me that you lost out on their message. So they may have something else to tell you, but I can't force them. Okay, so are you going to send me the message? Yeah. All right, everybody. That was a nice ancestor readings. They are helping their their aunt, their relative come back, and I mean it's a really great one. They got she got some guardians over her. She just got to open up a little bit more and see what they're saying, and uh, she's going to be okay. They they telling her that she got love and prosperity and wealth coming in her life, and that's all that's all we all can hope for in this in this day and age of craziness. All right, everybody on the Baron telling you guys to trust the you and universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all, and y'all have a great one. Soul Tribe.